mighty Jabreen Fort. It is one of the most beautiful castles of its kind in the Sultanate of Oman, formerly the famous Land of Incense. The massive, towering and eye-catching pewter walls of this structure date back to the 17th century. The owner of this splendid building, that is more like a palace than a fort, was the noble scholar Imam Bilarab bin Sultan. In 1670, he moved his government headquarters to Jabrin. Although clearly designated for battle, this impressive residential castle was constructed during peaceful times. Imam Bilarab was a highly educated man, well versed in poetry and philosophy, both of which he was keen to support. The interior of the castle, with its furnishings and everyday objects, gives a strong impression of the way of life of its former occupants during this historic epoch. The residences were originally constructed separately, but were subsequently connected by way of a small but bright inner courtyard. Construction of the palace was carried out in three stages. Thus, the building's residential quarters extended from the centre of the palace and took over an increasingly large area. Most rooms contained beautiful wooden ceilings. The castle was built mainly for residential use and was not ideally equipped to fend off would-be attackers. The old, well-preserved furniture gives a lasting impression of the Osmanic aristocrats' lifestyle during the 17th and 18th centuries. the books on display testify to the interest in both religion and the arts of the former sovereign Bilarab. The fort became a place of cultural exchanges between the Imam and his religious and artistic friends. Most of the wooden ceilings, numerous vaults and arches are adorned with artistic calligraphy, verses from the Quran and floral motifs.
In addition to the splendid furnishings of its interior, the castle contains hidden corridors and secret rooms in which it was possible to eavesdrop on private conversations. These precautionary measures were taken because of the increasing tension between Bil Arab and his brother Saif bin Sultan. The view from the top of Jabreen Fort across the surrounding oasis and the pottery town of Bakhla is extremely attractive and supports the fact that the fort was a private residence and not one of any real military significance. Arguments over the title of the Imam and the power struggle between the two brothers finally culminated in a siege. Under enemy attack, Bil Arab's soldiers made every effort to defend the castle and prepared themselves for a long siege. Subsequently, in 1692, the besieging army finally overpowered those in the fort and took control. Saif bin Sultan replaced his brother as ruler and resided there for 16 years until transferring his headquarters to Al Hazm. With the two diagonal towers of Jabrin, Bil Arab had created a monument which for many years to come would be a unique example of Osmanic fortress architecture. The two cannon towers of the fort represented a new style of architecture served as a model for many more of the country's fortifications. Even the conqueror of this outstanding fort, Saif bin Sultan, decided to use Jabrin's design for his new castle in Al Hazm. This noble fortress owes its present-day luster to the comprehensive restoration work of more recent times. <laughs> 